Albert Einstein in 1921 got the Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on the photoelectric effect. But what is the photoelectric effect? The photoelectric effect was first observed by Heinrich Hertz in 1887 while he was working on the spark gap generator. In a spark gap generator, there are two metal spheres and an electric spark travels from one metal sphere to the another. Hertz observed that when the sphere of the spark gap generator was illuminated with visible or UV light, the sensitivity of the spark gap generator increased. Later, J.J. Thomson discovered that the increased sensitivity of the spark gap generator was a result of the light pushing on the electrons. By pushing, he meant that the energy of light was transferred into the electrons of the metal sphere which led to the increase in sensitivity as the electrons with more energy could now travel longer distances. An assistant of Hertz, Philip Leonard, later discovered that the intensity of the light did not have any effect on the maximum kinetic energy of the electrons that were emitted. Now, for classical physics, this was counterintuitive. Imagine a set of marbles on the ground. A tornado comes and the marbles are intact. Nothing happens. But just a slight breeze and some marbles go away. Counterintuitive, right? That was a reaction of the physicists at that time. So, what was going on? Well, Einstein figured this out. He assumed that light is not continuous like a breeze or a tornado. It is actually made up of discrete particles known as quanta. Higher intensity of light does not mean more number of quanta. It actually means more energetic quanta. So, even if you shine bright, intense light on the metal surface, the number of photons or quanta still remain the same. And thus, the intensity of light had no effect on the emission of electrons whatsoever. Einstein also concluded that each metal has a threshold frequency, that is, the minimum frequency of light that is required for the electrons to be emitted from the surface of the metal. Consequently, Einstein developed equations and the mystery was solved at last. But how does all this help us? Well, it is all around you. The photoelectric technology is now used in automatically opening doors, intrusion alarms, exposure meter in your camera, solar panels and many other places, thanks to Einstein and his fellow scientists. Thanks for watching.